All right, we, uh, we have us another removal here at Carillon Place Apartments, uh, February 4th, 2015. Looks like the same old deal where they uh, build in between the first and the second floor. Uh, so, all right, uh, I'll remove this siding and all this kind of stuff, same old routine. And bring this batch of bees home tonight if all goes planned as usual. All right, I've got the siding peeled back. Um, that'll make it to where it's easy for them to repair it after the fact, you know, without trying to just rip everything down. And uh, yeah, the apartments are agreeing to fix everything after I do this. So I have to cut through that wood and just get to them right now. So I'm gonna drill a few holes first to make sure I'm drilling in the right spot before I start getting the power saws out. Because I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to have my power saw blade go through somebody's wall. All right, so I cut that, I drilled that hole, and I saw the comb in there with my flashlight. So I did a small rectangle there, you see, with the power saw, and I'm going to cut that out. And then uh, I need to see exactly how much room I'm dealing with between floors, and then I'll cut a bigger, bigger uh, rectangle or whatever out, uh, square if need be. I'm just uh, proceeding with caution here. Okay, uh, I just cut this open and I have not pulled this open yet so you're about to see what's in here at the same time as me. Yippee! It looks like they're uh, fairly new. It looks like they're clustered right there with not much comb built yet. Probably just a little bit of white virgin cone, I bet you anything. That looks like a fairly new swarm to me. So I, I need to cut this open a little bit bigger and uh, go from there. They sure do seem calm. <laughs> Alright, so I have this hole open a little bit bigger now. And look how beautiful that is and well behaved these ladies are. So, you know, I could vacuum these girls, um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to vacuum them because why should they go through this, that stress unless they have to. So what I'm going to do is just get handfuls of them and put them in the hive and just treat it almost like a swarm. When I do these top bar removals, I bring bars that are empty, you know, with guides on them, you know, for bees that, you know, for when there's not comb in their hive, if it's more like a swarm. I'll have uh, bars for them to build on. And if I have to cut comb out, I have a whole box of these with a hardware cloth that I stab the comb onto. So either way, I'm prepared and I'm going to start loading these bars on the top bar hive that have uh, no hardware cloth because I'm going to start scooping those girls out of there. And uh, if there's any, you know, minor comb in there, of course I ready for that too. So. My queen catcher ready. They're 
almost too nice. They are way too nice for my what I'm used to. Not many left. Um, I'm gonna look for the queen and I may have to vacuum some of the last few out. I'll decide as I go. I'm just sorting through these bees, you know, grabbing whatever last handfuls there are up there and putting them in here and uh, they're all, a lot of these are fanning because they realize this is their new home and uh, they're extremely docile. So I'm glad for that. They're start, they're, they try to sting my gloves a little bit when I pull them out and, you know, dig them out of that ball, but I'm being as gentle as I can. But bees are bees, they're going to try to sting a little bit, but the, they are not aggressive whatsoever. It's time I got out the honey bee gone. Uh, there's only a few stragglers left in here basically, and it's not worth vacuuming and traumatizing them and whatnot. So I'll, I think I have a queen in there, I mean just odds are in my hive. So, but nonetheless, I'm going to spray in here from the back forward to make sure they come forward. And uh, it's going to create a storm. Here they come. Anybody see the queen? Nope, not yet. I better put this phone down and her instead of trying to concentrate on holding this. They're airborne now. They're pretty much out of that crevice, you know, the uh, sp that space in there. It's like a ballet. They're all doing like they're supposed to be doing. And, uh, this one went almost too smooth and easy for me. Honey be gone, don't leave home without it. There's like one or two stragglers in here. So I'm just going to sit around and watch the show for a little while. I'm about to seal this hive up for the night and uh, they're all good to go. And all the bees are out of here. Gone.
and with a lot of thanks to Honey Be Gone too. Alright, so I'm checking on this uh, cutout I did to make sure the queen's in here. And let's see if uh, we can spot her again. Where did she go? I just saw her. I had to fire up my camera. <laughs> it's like taking your car to the shop and telling them there's something wrong, you know. So the queen is in here somewhere. I just saw her. And of course, right when I pick up the camera to uh, find her again, she disappears. But, um... Anyway, I'm not going to bother him anymore.